Invaders was a pilot from uh, the same people who did The Fugitive. So I had some, I had some contracts to do The Fugitive as well as the pilot for this next show. And uh, it was a very interesting idea. And we shot it in Temecula, California, of all places. And it, uh, it turned out to be a lot more successful than we had thought. I didn't think it was going to catch on, frankly. And uh, a very interesting thing happened on that show that involved the cameraman. And one of the other things that, in those days at any rate, the young director coming on to a show has to put up with, or had to put up with, I'm not sure that it's still going on, is the uh, being seniored to death by the cameraman who is, who is normally and almost exclusively in his 70s or 80s. Uh, it was always an older man who uh, was bitter, tired, what have you, you know and love to make young directors very unhappy and very, and keep them on a skillet. And uh, this one particular guy was especially hostile and unnecessarily nasty. And, you know, just kind of like sneered every time I told him what I wanted and where we should go. And uh, the producer got wind of this. Uh, it evidently, the, uh, my assistant, my first assistant, told the UPM, and that eventually got to Quinn Martin. I couldn't remember his name, yeah. Quinn Martin, who never visited the set, classically, he was, he was famous for never, ever going to any of his, the shows that he was producing. So he was a total unknown to most of the crews. People that have worked for years with him didn't know what he looked like. And I don't know what possessed him to do that, but that was his mode. And he, uh, he came on the set. Not a, and I didn't know that he had, because he didn't show himself. He just lingered in the background and watched. And the crew didn't know who he was. And the next day, the cameraman was fired because he saw and felt the tension and the and the, the 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 hostility from that man—it was totally unmotivated. So it's the first time that's ever happened, and happily the last time.